guarantee let me tell you this and i've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what i'm telling you believe me there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of god and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance please i'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever see. It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing all the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence please listen it is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit you hear me repeat some of these things again and again your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what christ has done is proof that the work of christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the path of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our hearts number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign second god is almighty deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 media let's walk together deuteronomy 10 17 
you will never be able to obey God listen carefully you will never be able to do the giant things that the Lord desires from you fulfill purpose an assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of God you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that God is not mighty he is all mighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't I'll just read alone one to read for the Lord your God is God of gods a mighty and an awesome God who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it pride it says for the lord your god is what god of i've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all surpassing excellency so he says this lord your god that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this God that we serve is not just the best option of the many. He is the only option available. There are so many people who cannot obey God today. There are so many people who cannot believe God. So many pastors, businessmen, family people are unable to receive the instructions of God are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their Bibles they do not know how mighty and how great God is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty mighty Savior He can move the mountains listen to this song my God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. He's the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered Listen. the grave. There is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of. No. I have caught a revelation of how mighty He is. The reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that He is mighty. Listen, look at this. Come, Sam. If, if I tell Sam I will buy you a car tomorrow, he will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me. Is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will? If he receives a testimony of my ability, Sam will now stand and say, I can believe you. Is that true? If I, if I say right now, everyone in Koinonia, just be listening to me, welfare department, go and buy minerals, just pass it around. You will never look and say, Apostle, don't deceive us. How much is minerals? Are we together? So it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able. Now, if I say, everybody just sit down, we are going to pass car keys around. You will say, Amen. But what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine. So when God says, I will bless you, your understanding of Him will judge what He has said. And you say, Lord, I trust you but it's well uh, you have a track record of fooling men God is almighty so God can speak to you and say son do this do that let me tell you something God never gives you instructions based on your ability he speaks to you as though he's talking to himself so don't be surprised to hear how how challenging his instructions will come 
when God speaks to you, He speaks to Himself. So He's not going to degrade His standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend Him. Are we together? It's up to you, by the ministry of the Word and the Spirit, to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of abraham the bible says abraham although he was an hundred years he counted god faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief one day god will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this i will be stupid to stand and say god don't don't disappoint me no no I have made promises to people as a man and I've seen how they just rejoice. Oh, I will give you 10 naira. I will help you to pay your school fees. And they jump. I've not given them any money. Didn't give them any check. They just started jumping around. What if I change my mind? You don't think I will. So you are happy. Our unbelief is proof we do not know God is almighty. So when he told you you will marry, you are still asking him questions. Lord, can't you just give me date and let two of us rest? <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know, do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. When he is in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason, no reason, no reason. This is the revelation that is responsible for confidence. When you see people move around, it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able. Looking at the great things that God has done today, here now is not six years. It's just koinonia that is six years. The meeting here. But even at this, it is still a humbling experience. Watching the things that God has done by His grace. Seeing the many things. Seeing His word come to pass. Do you believe Him? Do you truly believe God? Don't tell me you believe God until you know that He is mighty. Not just that He is mighty, He is willing to hold your hands. When a man is willing to help you, and you know that person has capacity to help you, you trust him. The word trust is from the word bata. It's best described, Pastor Alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired. He's sitting happily and playing, while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here. Is called trust. The child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me, but my father is also strong. Strong enough. And so he can afford to move around. Not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not. Did God ever tell you he's tired of holding you? Did God ever tell you he, he needed assistance? His hand was paining him. God is not Moses. The keeper of Israel, the Bible says he neither sleeps. What kind of a thing is that? You don't sleep nor slumber. The Bible says there is no searching of his understanding. There's too much unbelief. There are very few people that believe God. You see it in their lives, although they claim they trust him. But the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust Him. I believe. That's the song. He's able. He's able. He's able to bless you. He's able to keep you. He's able to bring His word to pass in your life. God is almighty. He's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it. No. He didn't store the power somewhere else. He's not signing like a church like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer. No. He is almighty. No man voted him into power. Listen. 
he doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it the bible says once have i spoken twice have you heard uh -huh. help me that all 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to god notice listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me i thank god i've taught you about the gift of men I've taught you about the ministry of men but God caused the eye the day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life I have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir I judge him faithful I can tell you I want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say Pastor Alpha you offended me I will punish you I won't help you again that's a man for you I can say I want to help you but me too I was expecting help from someone from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of God he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your, my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich will i marry will i have children how many will my pregnancy stay will i die will a plane crash will a car jam me all those things are resolved hear me will crowds come for my meeting what if they get angry one day and don't like me again those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty God is. I sing that song again. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. hear people talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believe him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of eni the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something Jimmy. come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time 
it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now i remember clearly i told them that when we went to the crusade ground we were going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and i think he thought we were joking and we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't mm -mm. so when it was time to pray you would just choose at random you didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person are we together now and i remember very clearly Ejimi then and jakes when i started saying all those things Ejimi got troubled one time and he said come on let's let's really find out are we going to how you know try to find out i hope this anointing works i hope those devils are going to be cast out i remember i, I hope you can remember i remember one of the, the first day of the crusade two of our ladies they now went to meet a woman you remember the story they went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb you know they came with all the zeal had received impartation we had fasted our lives i mean we're looking like skeletons and then the ladies now laid hands you know oh god you spoke to joshua selman and i'm telling you that woman was just looking like this no miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tight people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tight so yes a very small child i remember the shock on Jimmy's face listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day i just got angry i said okay you people have tried look this woman let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here see you know why i'm telling you this and why i called him it was faith i remember while we were preparing for the crusade he took his computer his personal computer he was the only one who had a computer then not a laptop a big screen computer he took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never know. i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time people sold some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god everybody shout but god thank you jimmy i love you god bless you but god when you bring god into the equation the calculation changes you have to know that i have fainted the bible says but god but god the psalmist said if the lord had not been our help now may israel say if the lord had not been our help listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor every other thing should come but god the trouble should come but god when you add god to the equation the calculation changes god is not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent one of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in god based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the lord 
and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful i don't know how it will happen but one thing i know is this god will help me he said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead i understand but god is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have vowed that because i became a christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. He says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say, but I'm more intelligent than you. Why is your life making progress? Because I, I kept, I didn't add God. I put him in front of me. There are many arrogant people believing they, they do every calculation by themselves. Then they say, God, where are you? Just come and join the queue. Some of us have learned. We put God in front and we foolishly follow. Foolishly follow. If he moves this way, wherever we are, we turn back and say, God, let's keep going. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what will happen? I shall fear no evil. Why? Not because I'm masculine. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says, thou preparest a table for me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Do you trust God? Do you believe God? It's a little teaching, but let me tell you something. Your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in God. No matter how hard watching you are, a day will come the only person you can cry to. I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all guarantee to your journey of life is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak i don't trust men no i don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me let no man claim he can give me no sir no sir if God cannot lift this ministry I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe no he said which of you by worrying can add one cubit one cubit one strand of hair 
is God blessing us? Everybody say God is almighty. In my life. Say it again. God is almighty. In my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say Lord I permit you to show your might. I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Uh, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my own belief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable. Hey, dependable God. I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you oh my God can handle you my God can handle you the shame and reproach I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and the pain, the lack of results and lack of progress, my God can handle you. I, I do not fear, my God can handle you. You know that song 
write it down. Psalms 147 verse 5. Quickly. I'm shaking unbelief in your life. Shaking unbelief in your life. God is a mighty God. He's the Almighty. Not an Almighty. The Almighty. No options. No one above Him. No one above Him. Thank you, Sam. He says, Great is our Lord. And of great what? Power. Then he says his understanding. This is the mystery behind his power. His understanding is infinite. Now when you meet such a man, never leave him. His understanding is infinite. Great is our Lord. And of great power. He says his understanding, his comprehension is infinite. I trust him. I believe him. You know, we when Ogun we came in, um, left this morning, and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down, I kept seeing different camps, prayer camps belonging to different ministries, and I thought for a while. One day, all of them were in their rooms, and God came to them and said, "I will make you great. Do you believe me?" And they were stupid enough to say yes. Some could not speak English, but they said yes. <clears throat> Had no connection. Some no education, but they said yes. It is when the results happen, people start admiring you. No. The mission is follow me. If you can have that rugged faith to follow him, you will return with a testimony. Please, I want you to burn this. Every time challenges overwhelm you, every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do, meditate on the might, the might of God. I like Angel Michael. When they started fighting with Lucifer over the body of Moses, this is what he said. He said, I will not bring any railing accusation against you, but this is my verdict. The Lord, I invoke a power greater than me. The Lord rebuke you. You've been trying to fight many battles on your own. It will soon kill you. There are some battles that will eat you up on your own. There are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves. I'm brilliant. I'm not daft. You will soon die. The, 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 the reality of the economy will swallow you up. You better humble yourself and say, Lord, lead me. I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5. 6 says, and lean not on your own understanding. Right? It says, in all your ways, verse 6 now, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. 7 says, be not wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away, depart. All this, do you know why many people don't trust God? This macho man, bold face thing that they want to do to life. Listen, it's good to be bold, but we make our boast in the Lord. When you remove him out of the question, you are boasting and you must defend yourself. Indeed, we make our boast all day long, the psalmist says. Your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity. Your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school. Go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper. Your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak English. Your confidence is not because you think you look good. There is one mighty, strong, strong, mighty. You threaten me, he will answer you. Mm. You will hear my voice in that equation. He will echo. And when God speaks, everything. If you speak to me, it's only me that will respond to you. But when God speaks, everything will answer. Everything. Please tap into this understanding. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. Don't ever say they are basic. Leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you. Leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house. Show me how you will ever build a ministry. Show me how you will ever build a business. It will, it will so shock you. Take God away. That is a, a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted. 
but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if he does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome god what an awesome god you are you're an awesome number three ready the third key man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling God's word in his life man will always have a role to play I'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of It does not control prophecy, but it controls manifestation. Between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass, you have a role. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2. Man will always, always, the love of God is unconditional, but his blessings are conditional. The love of God is unconditional, but his blessings are conditional. Here's what it says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt, uh -huh, listen, diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, pay attention. Then, number two, to do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee on high above all nations of the earth, verse two, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shalt hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god it didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north hearkening Allah Sharia that's to mean it was so prepared by God no I believe in the sovereignty of God there are things that are written there is how God can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if I'm poor is the will of God if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of God no 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 the will of God is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will 
is clear. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Jeremiah 29 11. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, not of evil, not of evil, not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. That means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end, I know that something is wrong. I can't sit down stupidly saying, Oh, this, this has to be God. No, no, no. I know His ways. It's not a mystery. I know there are challenges. I know there is a fullness of affliction. I know there are seasons. But I also know that the times are in the hands of God. He said, until the word of the Lord came to him, the word of the Lord tried him. Right? But when that word came, he prevailed over it. In the dealings of God with man, you don't suffer forever. No, sir. Understand the ways of God. So that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking. Hallelujah. If the membership of Koinonia begins to reduce, I won't sit down and say it's the will of God. He's driving wrong people. That's nonsense. We know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved. All men. There's no such thing as the crowd does not matter. It does. The ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes. When you understand your partnership, you will know what is demonic, you will know what is a process, you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind. There are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be, will be. Unfortunately, it's what you don't like that will be. Are we together? Everybody hates me. They are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck i'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this too and you will see the hand of God. Everyone say, I have a role. Say it loud. I have a role. To play. In the fulfillment. Of God's word. Over my life and destiny. Say it again. I have a role. To play. In the fulfillment. Of God's word. Over my life and destiny. Say it one last time. I always have a role. To play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny. Never allow anybody, listen, never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen. No, sir. Even science refuses that. Even science refuses that. Nothing moves by itself. Right? Yeah, the first law of mechanics, science people. A body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it. Otherwise, meaning if I leave this here and there is no force acting, it will remain there forever. Your destiny is like this object. It will remain in one place. The day God wants to change, I know my God, He will arise. You know your God, but He will not arise. You provoke His hand to arise for you. God will deliver me. You people should just keep watching. No. There is what you must do. Good master, what shall I do to be saved? That's why the man was rich. What shall I do? He knew he had a role to play. Not all God saved me. That's what the other guy said on the cross. We are here. It's true. We are thieves. But what did he even say? And Jesus looked at him. The other one said, look, we are seen as Lord. We take responsibility. Say, you, you will be with me this day. In paradise. The other guy, still on the cross as a thief and a criminal, was not repentant. I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility. I, I detest irresponsibility of any kind. Especially spiritual irresponsibility. If my life will rise, it's up to God in partnership with my cooperation. Still on this point, I want you to write this down. Are you getting blessed tonight? 
Just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change. Write this down. Still on that point. Three. Your path will have to be based on knowledge and understanding. Your path will have to be based on knowledge and understanding. In as much as it is important to take action, that action must be based on knowledge and understanding. Not emotions, not suggestions, not guessing. You see, the thing about God is He clarifies what role you have to play. Moses, stretch forth your rod. He didn't say, Moses, just do whatever you want to do, I'm just there. No, stretch forth your rod. Jericho, Joshua, tell the people to go around Jericho. Specific instruction. Once, every one of the six days. And on the seventh day, they go seven times. After that, together with the priest, they raise a shout. Specific rule. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. We look at two scriptures. So many people are attempting to cooperate with God. But they are doing it in ignorance. Now when you, when you walk in ignorance. You alienate yourself from the possibilities that are, that are contained in God. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's look at it. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's turn it here for time's sake. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Then it says, and with all thy getting, do what? Get understanding. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Wisdom tells you to cook. Understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients. Wisdom tells you you have a great destiny. Understanding tells you the path to take. That's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. There are similar rules but they are not the same. A light to your path. Direction. A lamp to your feet. Guidance. A light to your path. Direction. Listen. If you come and you are looking for direction, I will tell you, okay, go left, you are going to see two roads, follow the left one, turn. That's direction. But when I tell you, let's walk together, and we get to a place, I say, okay, move with me. That's guidance. The word of God both guides and directs. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So God shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there. Make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it. Don't just say, wow, this tight. Let Okay, since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that, let me just tight. You may be taking the action, but is it based on knowledge and understanding? You can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone God with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heavens still remain closed. Because it is not the substance, it is the understanding. The insight is what gives life to the action. Are you seeing that now? Yeah. So you are praying for the sick. And you are saying in the name of Jesus be healed. But you think it's just about speaking. So you are saying be healed, be healed, be healed. And the person is not being healed. You are still mentioning the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus be healed, be anointed. The power of God will touch people right now. Everybody, you ask them to shout everything. I receive, shout Jesus, shout fire, shout water, shout. And everybody is just looking at you like a rock. I say, you are such a bunch of unbelievers here. You are, you are trying to insult the grace of God on my life. Then you start making reference to meetings. That's what people do when they don't have results. Is it not you that came in 1991? Remember that meeting? <laughs> Bible says, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Don't bring Jesus of yesterday for us. We want to see the Jesus of today. Alive and strong. But that's what happens to people. Let your action be based on knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, what is the revelation behind tithing? Why does tithing open the heavens? Wow! Tithing is my spiritual circumcision. 
Tithing is my proof of obedience. Tithing is not a proof of love. Giving is a proof of love. Tithing is a proof of obedience. Tithing does not mean you love God. Tithing just means you are obedient. Because an exact figure was given to you. So I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithes and the results that followed and the light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works. Now, on the strength of that understanding, when I lift a song, I'm lifting that song from an understanding. That understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song. And you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding. Never do things because people are doing it. Spend time to seek knowledge and understanding. Then you take an enlightened step. Take an enlightened step. Everybody is doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Through ignorance. Through ignorance. Are we together? Yeah. There are people who, although they are supposed to be working in certain realities, they exempted themselves through ignorance. Being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance. I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know. I'm not too proud to learn. I always want to know what am I doing wrongly. What, when I find knowledge that is relevant to me, I jump at it with all my heart. I know you have been taking action. But is it based on insight? Is it based on revelation? You saw people anointing themselves. You went to go and buy Goya oil. And you brought it. And all of a sudden, you opened a bottle and drank small. Rubbed small on your head. Rubbed small on your hand. Went to sleep. And the spirit sat on you ten minutes later. And he said, my God, with this oil? Yes, with the oil. You carried your Bible and put it under your bed. And while you slept, you had the worst dream. Even the day you slept watching a film, you had a good dream. But now you put your Bible because it's not in actions. Revelation. There are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation. Revelation. Ephesians 1.17 Paul speaking says, For this cause I, Paul, bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that He may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light, that you may know, come into a comprehension, come into an understanding of a reality. It is important for us to know. I like it to say in the name of Jesus, Lord, take away ignorance from my life. Say it again, take away ignorance. You know, let me tell you something. The little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities, the mysteries of the kingdom, I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well. I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry. I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business. I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results. I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it. You see, enlightenment is very powerful. Because when you are moving in darkness, you don't even know. And so you keep trying. This is not working. But I fasted 30 days. I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle. Receive it. You collect it and, and nothing happens. And yet you see how effortless 
certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today I saw the predictability of the results of the people you know most of those fathers of faith came from the same background the same background the apostolic church Aladura CAC that background regardless of what they have now so certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is crowds space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results hearing is my father glorified that you bear much food not that you learn about plants that you bear much food you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear food you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the past, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. He's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study follow them the bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it stop acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, honestly, Holy Ghost fire, it's this demons you are hearing, Holy Ghost, you don't know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does, you don't even know whether it exists, you don't even know whether the blood of Jesus is there and what it should have, so you are just praying, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, blood of Jesus, if you never, I refuse to believe it, then you start crying, even you, you know you didn't believe what you said, because at the end you just start, stop praying and say, God, is this how you leave me? May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say hey, we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just shook it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you 
may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John 5 19. It says, And we know that we are of god and then it says apologies for the projection issues i'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of god then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a a rock a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness. Listen, I want to give you spiritual intelligence. The condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born. Not that you do anything wrong or right. The moment you find yourself on this side of God's kingdom, immediately there is a contention. Every human being on earth is a potential battle axe. Satan will not wait till you become one. He starts attacking you from birth. He knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by God. Are we together? Yeah. Apostle, what have I done? Who did I offend? Have you heard that, that culture-driven terminology? This one that demons are against me. Nothing works in my life. I didn't offend anybody. You don't have to. There is a story that predates your existence. Listen to the teaching. Pulling down strongholds. And a number of other teachings. Warfare series. I teach there very extensively. On the reality of wickedness. Many of us trivialize it. Until it attacks you. No. No. The Bible says, Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. Scripture clearly tells us that this world, living is a warfare. Living is a warfare. I think it's Dr. Paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield, not a playing ground. It's a real battlefield. Just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing. You are trying to show you have money. Who did you offend? nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing i'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, 
somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go only god knows how many people are in a harbor shrine now calling my name while i'm sleeping only god knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me i don't mean to insult your civilization but i'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what i'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back as so job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters i can look at a life and know that this life is under attack i have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this i don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all i need to know is did you say yes to the lord jesus christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of god fail in pastor alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of god upon benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now i know your life is under attack by your prayer life i see it you don't need a word of knowledge i know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you i see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you peter peter satan desire to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren i look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden 
from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car parks out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last page someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again Femi, me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you said sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people i have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that. there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping oh went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes means you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and I, i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you caught a worm and then the parts are, are, are active that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance 
that was a conversation red scary eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how you would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roar to the lord of lords who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne Bow down Every ocean roll To the Lord of Lords Listen When you find out That there is a pattern Of pain and tragedy I want you to know that hell Is about to bring his back over you And that is the time to arise Before The throne there is the cross and you must know how to fight your way to victory this is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us this is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil i answer your prayer now yes he is yes he is i know his signature everything cannot go wrong at once something is wrong somewhere and so it is important to acknowledge it and then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance not what is the mystery of prosperity what why am i not getting a job no job no money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed, your eye starts. As you are taking the last drug for eyes, your ear starts. All of a sudden, you shift your leg. You are on your way going to your room. That little hit you for two weeks. There is no balm that cures it. That was not a stone. That was more than a stone. I remember one day I was praying. And I was praying for someone. A particular person in this ministry. And then when I was praying, the Lord led me to pray for that person. And immediately I was praying. You know how you blow somebody on your back? Physically. Like I stand behind you and blow. That was what I felt. Physically. When I started praying for the person. Do you know, sincerely speaking, I had to kneel down and lay my hands. The pain was too much. And I knew that person's life was under attack. Ah! I said, my God, you have to arise and help this one. Shake it, take it, take it. I laid hands there. Shepros katabarata. No praise and worship. Libros kabaria takata. Shake it, take it here. Let me tell you this. There are prayers that prevail. There are different kinds of tongues. There are tongues for warfare. It's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit, man. You do, you know, it will change. Believe me. It's because you don't pray, that's why you will never get there. Don't speak anything and even you, you know it didn't rise. The day you lock your door, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this. You lock your door and say, I'm not going out until there is a change. 
and blasting tongues the spirit of God you will feel your tongues changing you will know this is warfare prayer you may not know what you are saying your mind is not truthful but at a point your spirit the anger of your situation is added to your prayer you are not laughing praying nonsense you are thinking of who is calling no you are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm. one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how precious you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God brothers and sisters victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit it didn't just happen you sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent every time you want to bless people people say don't trust Benga I'm still suspecting him don't you know there are spirits that plant deception you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and says who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go a wire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone you don't even know what happens some of you when the devil is about to buffet you the Lord uses my face in your dreams here he comes shows up I tell you if you see me in your dreams start dancing I'm not a herbalist believe me it's a mystery God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself, using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and herbalism to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. 
you get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle and you are smiling. You missed your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done, it's over. It's done, it's over. It's done, it's over. Listen, before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting, I've been praying and practicing this principle, but I knew that it, it's like there was a resistance. A resistance. And that night, I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping. All of a sudden, I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land. And Bishop Oedipo was sitting down. David Piome was sitting down close to him. Two men, I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth, territorial wealth. And they were watching me, just like supervising a student on project. I was standing on the stage. I could not stand very well. It was shaking. And afterwards, I came. And Oedipo asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet. When I dropped it, he said, no, there's still some more. I put my hand, I dropped everything, and he laid hands on me. Somebody took me to a room, I opened the room, and I saw dollars, I saw pounds, I saw naira. That was the beginning. When that happened, Colonia exploded like a charm. There are mysteries. You don't have spiritual intelligence, you will never rise. Never right. Some of you were this close to your breakthrough, but you did not know what you saw. You thought you had a dream. Only if you dance for 10 minutes, that would have been the end of that problem. But you did not know. Help those under the anointing. You were the universe. You were everyone. January this year, I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision. And then when I was caught up in a vision, the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter, not a dream, not lying down to dream. The first one, it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me, he said, come. And then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of trial, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have the, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now, I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you. Walk in it. And he told me, Baba, like you tell somebody in Yoruba, go, you can go, I've opened the road. Brothers and sisters, this is how, this is what we call encounters. You don't know it. How many encounters have you had and you missed it? Because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit, the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly, then in the physical, two weeks, he's still moving alive but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks is my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, anything can kill him. Because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You are... Something about the operation of witchcraft. 
there are only three ways witchcraft operates i will be teaching you next week and then i will teach you the last point on how to command victory because someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest you saw your marriage but you got up and you were shy you were embarrassed and you just laughed and said ah don't mock me i'm not talking about these demonic things where you are moving around no listen it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic some things god is telling you the season has come especially when it's, it is emphasized two is the number of emphasis three is a short is a witness that god has decreed that it should happen but it never happens never happens because there is no spiritual intelligence i don't waste opportunities in my life the greatness of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are posting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory miracle service is always finished before friday koinonia is always finished before friday you don't come and finish koinonia here it's risky risky you don't go for miracle service and stand on stage and say it's time to be healed foolishness that's not it doesn't happen that way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain then it was possible for him to be slain physically if he were not slain in the realm of the spirit he couldn't be, be, be saved physically it always happens first in the realm of the spirit we are going to pray we are going to pray i i feel i feel i feel the air of some warfare prayers i i just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers listen in the next five minutes i know our time is up but in the next five minutes i release my faith with you and i want us to pray we are going to force doors to open you are not praying to edify your spirit. No. Every pending breakthrough. It has been declared. It's my season of trial. I have seen it in dreams. The Lord has confirmed it. I should be blessed. I'm not asking. I know it. It is a season.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are praying. Oh, there are miracles. There are miracles that should have happened. Stop asking whether it's the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Let them lift your voice and pray. Come back. Pray. I am quickly two more prayer points and we're done the bible says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow god has it now did you hear what i said now i want you to lift your voice and say now break two now break two now break two not next week no not next miracle coming now favor now favor
Hallelujah. Listen. Never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen, if you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represent what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance take you see, we've been praying vengeance in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family, and brought you disaster. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. Whoever will not let you go must go for you. Whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you. I release vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. I decree and declare every power that close your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenly we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the earth of salvation angels will release you war a good warfare release destiny release life Release favor, release breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now. There are some realms of anointing you should have entered. Some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind Shedu here, I want to push you by prophecy. Don't take a bow. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree in the name of Jesus upon everyone here behind Shedu. In the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now. Catch up now. Finance 
financially, cash up now, spiritually, cash up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has found that will not marry, anyone the devil has found to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the trains that held your leg, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of time. God is a God of time. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This is how to receive your portion. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how you receive what belongs to you. The devil will not give it willingly. No. Whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017, in spite of the fact that God has declared, you clap for others. Hold on. I'm not just saying maybe it's a casual. There is no one here. Who has not seen the faithfulness of God but I'm saying there is nothing striking you cannot honestly say from January 1 till today 10th of March nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus except I be not sent of God in the name of Jesus according to the election of God's mercy and grace I prophesy to you in seven days from today in the name of the Lord God who called me Command breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help that lady, strange breakthrough. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be fixed by his grace we are not doing anything online leave all those things listen but I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow listen every time people celebrate birthdays they reenact what brought the birthday correct if a king is celebrating birthday he releases prisoners to prove he's a king I want to place a prophetic word Malatos I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me. The one who revealed to me that I saw a generation crying. I saw men languishing. The one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me. I invoke the covenant of my altar that caused Kata bread Kata. I invoke the covenant of my altar. Oh God alive. Answer by the covenant I have with you. Tomorrow, 11th March, shake the nation. Change your people. Connected to this ministry, 
are following on life and prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow I declare it a day of strange miracles strange encounters strange miracles strange restoration strange impartation An unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight to say, I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night, I command unusual angelic activity, confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case. I want to, this is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow. In anyone's body, you have never seen me hospitalized, you have never seen three put on my hands, you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because I was down. I declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow. Hear me, whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go there is just about two hours i declare if they enter tomorrow holding your destiny i stand and i command the earth to take their body i say this in the name of jesus anyone who will not let you go i say it again if they cross 12 midnight this night i command the earth to take their body to be your helper can you hand over your life and say God help me truly I've tried by myself if you don't help me I will never get this admission if you don't help me I will never graduate if you don't help me my certificate will remain a piece of paper I will keep mocking myself with my accolades listen if no one has told you let me tell you again our world is a cruel and a wicked world you don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's the condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. He's my helper. When God comes in to help you, He can round off what has taken you 10 years, 10 years of captivity. Let me tell you something. It doesn't take time when Jesus is there. It doesn't take time. You will be watching the growth. This is how it will leave you. And you are saying, where is it? It's gone. Who is like him? 
Lion and the Lamb seated on the throne. His father and the ocean road to the Lord of Do you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that that CEO, I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and he said, I know my salary is on his way coming. <sighs> Lord, I trust you and he said, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon, he's coming in next week from India and God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean rolls to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the elders and the saints Sing praise I believe God though I'm a man of faith I believe God He says I know whom I have believed I've seen God help people Even in this place In this place Brothers and sisters There is a mystery of lifting God can take a man you see somebody today and God can lift that person. If they looked at someone and said, when did we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. Afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me, leave that one. Let God choose, if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust church. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, Avenge me my adversary. And for a long time the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. 
Are we together? God has revealed to us that He's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And um, she said everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly no hope for marriage. Nothing was working. They were about to throw her out on her job. And I prophesied to her and I said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department. She should not be afraid. And she said, man of God, that's exactly what happened. And she looked at me. And she said, can you imagine what has happened in my life? She just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. And she said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said, I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, He will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please. I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him. That's why I know Wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows, there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because they, the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end they don't even know where the problem started from they know that they are in the middle of a situation but the helper when he comes he can make every crooked path straight there are people here trusting God for children there are people here trusting God for a turnaround breakthrough do you believe that God is stepping in the worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us do you believe that God is able to step in we are going to pray right now you are not praying for your neighbor you are not praying on your request you are going to pray for yourself and say Lord please don't let me go back the same way I came lift your voice and pray inside and outside please pray Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please, lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem.
pray. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will pray for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, I will pray for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, I will pray for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, I will pray for everlasting. Everlasting to God, the everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle worker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting. One more time, Lord, we will praise You from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise You from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that He's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out by the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting, Hallelujah. everlasting. Madam, check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? there's a movement. Movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Sir. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back, that road there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. 
You are wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise You from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise You from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise You from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Where's your mother? Eh? Because I'm seeing another woman. Your mother is here. The Lord is saying I should speak to her. Light is living from you outside. There is a woman outside. She's your mother. Where is she? Is she here? Or at, not outside. At, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside? Some, who is that, please? Is she here? Come, mama. God is wiping the tears of your family tonight. Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Mama, you are welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play. Because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? In Zaria. What do you do? At the sense of tea. I need to pray. Because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He must have they caught. This boy must have they caught. I'm going yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say, oh, they tell me to come back again. Eh? What caught? He got problem. He must have they caught. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody like don't don't be afraid, Mama, because this thing will even cause you problems. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie. Same material. Her tie like a normal. This thing. This, this, it's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that, let's have a mother outside. The Lord is showing me. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? You are 14. You will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? From Edo. You are from where? Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me. Because the same thing is delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mom. 
the back pain. Look at me, Mama. The back pain you it 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 will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hand. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Jesus. Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at. Look at. Help her. Cover her. It will never return to you. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you But there is another woman I'm talking about There is another mama outside Who needs to come Mama I'm going to pray for you In the name of Jesus You have a daughter yes. Where is she? She is outside She's outside Call her Come Daughter where are you? Please come Shim What's her name? Shim Please you had your name Rush and come in Our time is gone who is this? I told that I'm the one. No. The woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a head tie that looks close to it. Ladies now, the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I will pray for you. I don't know why she's here. She's here. But I will pray for you. You are already out. I will pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Uh, okay. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother. This is your grandmother right? Huh? Who is like your mother? Oh I see. I, I, oh I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother but she's like your mother now. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying, I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that He's adding years to your life. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Yeah, but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter. She has a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? Maybe here. you here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. May that grace come upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. Bless you Mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus. Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus. No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. 
but Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. It's mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. By the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, uh, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm back in, in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elder brother in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm back in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I've not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Just be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you are already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Please, please if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because this, you are supposed to do, there is business that God has been putting in your heart. Yeah? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you, a business door. 
You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina, I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name Regina. Regina, please, who is that? Do we have anybody outside? Regina, you are outside. There's nobody we just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a salunist. You are a salunist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus. I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you. What do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you. Because you love God. Yes, sir. My mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You do. What category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? There's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh? Sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious and you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? He called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you, if you don't have the eyes of the Spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad, don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? He was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, he may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit, he needs help. Let me pray for you, that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send into her life the man, a, a responsible and God-fearing man. In the name of Jesus Christ, and for your shame, may my God give you double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let me just talk to two people and then we'll... Madam, please come. 
That woman, can I talk to you? Please clear the way for her. Madam, please come. Please, let's pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the Spirit. Say, Father, visit me. Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, you were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm off. Hold on. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself. Because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. Yes, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. You are? Hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious mm -hmm. issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. You see, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know. I don't know what causes it, but I know how it. Do Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast it. Um, it's a congenital disorder, and the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all okay. I know. <laughs> Most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... Believe that this child, ah, God, do a miracle. 
in the name of Jesus. Hold him. Am I holding him right? Jesus Christ. Father, by the blood of Jesus, do a miracle in this child. We change this situation in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she has been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree that is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them. In Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The power flows through this baby. In Jesus' name. I hope the usher help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baby, we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Where is the man in your life? Okay. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something that is serious, but I'll talk I'll talk about it. Okay? The Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is. Praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels. 13 people by the influence of the spirit. I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are, inside and outside, right now as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them right now. Right now, bring them out. 13 people. 13 people. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. That still people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that will jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion. Outside, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Say, repeat, 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 rep
Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now outside? One, two, three. Bring them. Bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says while men slept. Hear me. There are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen. My goodness. You are going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen. At the count of three, I tell you wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the Spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Families, 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 the sword of judgment. outside listen i came out because your destiny must open up lift your hands i came out to bring the atmosphere of god's presence hear me there is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain i'm going to, listen i'm going to begin to walk around my goodness i see angels by my left and right as i begin to move across this place the fire of god will start falling Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands right now, right now, right now. I command us right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire, 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 every spirit, every devil from my left. My right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every table, right now, I stretch my hand, every go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them, let that take for super. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits dying men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out, out right now. My left and my right. I release the spirit. 
right now right now right now right now those spirits i command them to leave right now in the name of jesus out 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 by the power of the holy spirit i command right now right now i stretch my hands towards you every force sign you down in the name of jesus it must release you right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah now listen those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all that's why i came out i'm going to all the overflows those of us here you may be out but let me tell you something god will step into your destiny please lift your hands because i'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end i'm seeing chains lift your hands i want you to shout jesus just once at the count of three and everybody under that influence must go right now please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them father i change of bondage but you organize this meeting to recover destinies therefore at the count of three it will come like fire on some of you one two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that spirit let that go right now in the name of jesus 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 the lord is giving you a new song a new song the lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the holy ghost mama the lord is saying i should tell you he's wiping your tears god is wiping your tears in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the lord is saying what you could not do in five years you mama in five years he's making to happen for you in one year in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ sir i have to pray there's delay in your life the lord wants me to break the spirit of delay i hope you are not embarrassed sir. hold my hand sir something will happen to you remarkably right now take it that devil of delay out of his life right now out out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit the name Eboni, Eboni state someone here from a boy state god is bringing a miracle at my back that person is at my back a boy state god is bringing a miracle wherever that person is in the name of the lord jesus christ who is margaret margaret i'm hearing the name margaret you are in this place oh no 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 there's a lady here margaret i'm seeing the lord is shining who is that come margaret you are margaret look at me the lord is wiping the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ i command that spirit to leave your family right now i see a family of five ladies none is married a family of five ladies the lord is showing me five ladies none is married none is married he's on the wheelchair how long have you been seven years what happened to you you were shot oh you're a military personnel and you've had to leave the army because of it or you are still there but then you need to walk wow you can't feel you can't feel this leg right now oh it's a spinal cord a lumbar problem i pray with you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a family of five ladies please I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle 
please make sure that we confirm the situation. Five ladies, so that we don't say yes. we are faking it. Please make sure. Yes, yes. Five ladies, where yes. are you from? Yes, I'm from Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, yes. You two? Five, you two? You are together? Oh, you are his sister? No. You are his friend? So why are you here with him? To back him up? For oh, five minutes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. There is a spirit that brings delay in your family. And I take authority over that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. There's somebody around here. You are into book selling. Bookstore business. God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business. Here. I'm sensing it. I don't know if there's anybody here. You are into selling of books. The Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person. Oh, Jordan is you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady. Call that lady. You. Don't think distance is a barrier. Believe me. God can fish you out from anywhere. Look at me. I know you are standing by the fence, but God is wiping your tears. He's giving you a new song. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing upon you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has answered your prayer. You are praying that I minister to you. You and your friend. Where is your friend? Where is he? Lift up your hands, two of you. You will step into an anointing. Huh? Hold your hands together. In the name of Jesus. Look. I stretch my hands. Right now, let a fire come upon both of you. Right now. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You step into a strange dimension. Let me talk to the people here. I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting, it doesn't matter where you are. God can visit you. No, don't worry. Just, just leave the person. Grace. I hear a name, Grace. 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 There's someone with the name Grace. Is there someone like that? Grace. Grace. I need to pray for Grace. 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 And I'm hearing Garba. Garba. I'm hearing a name Garba. God is ministering to somebody. I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba. In the name of Jesus. Garba, where are you? Your name is Garba. Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man to your life. Yes. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jump next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are right, Jam. Three people. You are right, Jam. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Oh, come and stand. What? Please remind me in case I forget this jam thing. We have to settle it once and for all. Please, people who are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes. Inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging. To know that 
God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here, there are at least two of you. Fire is coming upon you right now. I see the power of darkness being broken. Lord, where are they? Right now, I stretch hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand upon this anointing. Wherever they are, fat, there is a lady right now. It's like fire is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that fire is coming upon you. All of you standing here, I prophesy to you. In the name that is above all names, hear me. Whatever has tied your progress, I'm talking to those here. I stand under this anointing and I declare a change of story right now. Benway states, there's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway states, you have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please. You have an elder brother. Where? God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you see all your heart, He will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation. And the Lord is saying, release them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking, but God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? For this day, I need to pray for you because there's wisdom. I take authority over that spirit. Of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Uh, what's the name of that? It's not just Nabao. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll, I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. listen. God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady. Because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant. And you will be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen in some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is a lady that the Lord is showing me. For four months, you have not seen your period. Four months, you have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's family, um, like relatives, in prison. 
there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives I don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that God is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you are the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in Gobe State how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years have you done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Keep your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You. This. Are you hearing me? God is bringing me into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing a restoration. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. Mention of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus. Mr. John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing this? There is an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way He would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord would lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. And I will praise you. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How many years? I will Seven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam. Look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit. Right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problems. No, 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 not I, I'm going to speak for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm going to bring status exchanges. No more denied. You get discouraged easily. I'm on my way to better Who is the person? Lay your hands in the name of Jesus. No more I'm on my way to better days. No more 
Lord is bringing you to a new dimension. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area, area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you are standing for yourself, move this way, please. So that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship Him forever. Love Him forever. Because this God is to do. Please, this way. Just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please. See how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something is being activated in your spirit man. Step into that oil, that fountain. That healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let Him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick, I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves. Because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people. You, lift your hands. You, out! Right now! Right now! It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit. And there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by yourself. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children for your loved ones. 
miracle children they take in right now and nine months after now they give birth to their children in the name of jesus hallelujah please go back to your seat god bless you god bless you those who are standing here i'm going to pray for you please make sure you are married if you are not married please don't embarrass yourself go back to your seat praise the lord let me pray for those who are standing for themselves we have to pray that's why you came hallelujah remember the testimony that god gave a woman who had been barren for eight years how many years eight solid years and god gave her triplets they are still alive till today triplets triplets please i want you to believe god if you are standing husband and wife no problem you are standing for your wife no problem just make sure you are married that's the only thing we are saying please i'm going to pray for you stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now in the name of jesus i don't care what the problem is jesus is stepping in my confidence the source of my strength are you the strength of my life are you my open my joy are you Hey, my confidence are you I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me your mercy is everlasting all the night I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My open, my joy, hey, my confidence, the source of my strength, the strength of my life, my open, my joy, my confidence, hey, I exalt you. I release this miracle. Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears. Right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then 
I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service, right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Shebakarota Supradi Shebarebosh. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles. Upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me ten more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you, just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. 
I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of disfavor. By this anointing. Right now. Right now. I break that mark. Right now. Inside, outside. In the name of Jesus. I tear off that mark. That mark of disfavor. That embargo of bad luck. Upon your life. That makes things not to work. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. You have come to the end of your road. And if God does not step in, there will not be any way out. I pray for you. That door closed over your destiny. That will not allow you to move to the next level. I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy. I command that door to open right now. Oh, come on. Believe it. Believe it. I command that door to open. Shakatata. Bariata. I command that door to open. Swing open. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand, and is yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shalakataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything that must enter your hand. Inside and outside. I command it. From the realm of the spirit. I deliver it to your hands. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to grow in your hand, ideas, businesses, please listen. Everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names, return and cause it to grow. Return and cause it to grow. I command that business grow. I command your family grow. I command your finances grow. I command your ministry grow. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You hear me pray this all the time. Because I've seen what it can do in the life of a man. Where are your destiny helpers? If there is one prayer you must receive in this place, listen, God can use men to help a man. And in one day, God can bring the right people to wipe your tears. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help, as you lift your hands, let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now. Right now, right now, I release that anointing upon you for help, for help, for help, for help. Take it, receive it, the anointing. Listen, all you need in your life, one person can just tell you do A, B, C, or I know A who can do B for you. And it can open you up to a whole new world. One more time I pray. I call them. From the north. The south. If they are in Zaria here. We call them. If they are in Kaduna state. We call them. Any part of Nigeria. Receive their ministry now. Receive their ministry now. Whoever has vowed to destroy your life, I'm praying. Oh, this is judgment. In the name that is above all names. If there is any human entity standing, I declare, let this night be a night of judgment. Let this night be a night of judgment. Let this night be a night of judgment. 
Listen. When Pharaoh refused to allow Egypt, Israel go, God took his firstborn. Whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go, we take it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Let me tell you the truth. There are men that hold the destinies of people low. I teach you principles of success. But I'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill. Whoever kept your destiny at a standstill, in the name that is above all names, I put an anointing upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. I prophesy in your career, go forward. In every area of your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak over our finances. You see what is happening around the nation. Father, we believe in the power to prosper. And we believe in favor. Ah, There is such a thing, my brother and my sister, called favor. Lift your hands. My God and my King. That anointing for favor that was on Joseph. That anointing that made five loaves and two fish. To feed 5,000 people. Wherever you are. May that anointing come on your life right now. It's coming on people. May that anointing come upon you. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. Some of us are moving. But our pace is too slow. That's the truth. We need acceleration. We are moving, but your pace is too slow. There are things you should do in two weeks, not three years. There are things you should do in one day. I'm praying for you. The Bible says, and the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you, that between now and next month miracle service, what has not happened from when Koinonia started, may the God that I serve release it into your life. I command speed, 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 speed. I prophesy it, speed. Hallelujah. All those writing jam, lift your hands. It's time for you to move forward. If you are not writing, you can stand in for somebody, maybe your loved ones or whatever. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, And when they were tested in all matters of wisdom, hear me, Daniel was found ten times better. That ten times better unction. As you write your jam, may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of Jesus. There are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do. You will know what to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm led to pray for those in final year. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. We need to release you. There are things that have come up. Some of us, physically speaking, is obvious there is trouble. Where is that God who can correct a man's mistake? I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, you will graduate this year. I said you will graduate this year. I don't know how it will happen, but you must graduate this year. Hallelujah. The secret, receive this, two more and we are done. The secret the ideas, the strategy you need for the next level of your life. I'm praying for you. Please lift your hands. There will be a strong impartation. God is releasing anointings for creativity. Some of it will come upon you. You will not know why. But when you sleep, you will see it in dreams. My God, I'm praying. I see this thing falling on at least 40 people. In the name that is above all names. That anointing for creativity. Receive it right now. 
right now, right now, right now. An impartation, an impartation, an impartation. An impartation inside, outside, inside, outside. Take it, take it, take it. Creativity, ideas, I send them from the spirit. Concepts, right now, right now. Business ideas, career ideas. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray the last prayer. Breakthrough. You don't know what breakthrough is, some of you. Let me tell you what breakthrough is. Breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted, destroyed. If it's lifted, it can appear in your future. Please listen. Some of us, what you need is breakthrough. You don't even know the name of the situation you are in. But I pray. At the count of three, I want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can. And something remarkable will happen. I'm seeing rain falling. That's what I'm saying. Father, this is the instruction you gave me. As we shout, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband, husband, somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough. Somebody's husband, husband, at the count of three, one, two, Three. Yes, Lord, receive it, receive it, receive it. Malakata Baba. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. I smash those barriers. Breakthrough. It Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.